What's up, Samsonite? So, if you notice, nalaglag yung Jenga. Uh, that's because it's already lunchtime and I'm very hungry. Uh, so, I think it's time to be cooking already so I could already eat. And what better to, to eat on this fine uh, weekend afternoon than a bowl of beef stroganoff. So, for this video, I'm going to show you how I prepare my version of be strong enough. Let's do this! Hello everyone! So for today, I am going to make a beef stroganoff. Uh, so the ingredients for this one is, of course, uh, well, slices of beef uh bala na kayo kung anong cut ng beef you can also buy this from supermarkets na ganito na kanipis uh butter uh siguro yung one slice i don't know how to measure butter i just measure it sparingly uh mushrooms pwede na kayong gumili nung nasa lata or if you want it to be more authentic you can have the actual mushrooms Oyster sauce. Uh, it doesn't have to be this big. Pwede nyo sashay lang kung konti lang. Um, onion. Garlic. Salt. Naka-prepare na rito. But if you can see, this is actually where it comes from. And pepper. Um, you can also have broccoli if you want. But I don't. So it's not here. Okay. So the first thing you would like to do is to... Make sure that your beef is already, if, if you bought this from the supermarket and have uh, put this in the fridge, make sure it's already thawed out before you, you put it on the pan. Otherwise, pag di pa siya to now, uh, it will melt on the pan and it will have some icy, fridgy taste that you don't want to happen in your, in your cooking. So when it's thawed out, alright? Uh, you can season that by putting some salt. That's what I'm going to do. Some salt only. And some pepper. Now, if you're like me, who's a little bit of a... Uh, mas, gusto ko yung mas maalat, you can put a little bit more salt there. So, there we go. Um, but just a little bit because I'm still going to season this actually later. So, while it's uh, there, just... Um, so towel, don't forget that. Pamunas yun ang kamay. Uh, chop some onions and some garlic. So be careful with this one. If you could ask an adult to do this for you, you can. All right, just chop it in half. All right. Uh, don't worry about peeling the onion because the moment you chop it, uh, look at this. This is already old. The moment you chop it, you could actually remove them pretty quickly. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm removing the ugly parts of this onion. You don't want that in your food. Okay, so there you go. All right. So it's relatively clean now. Okay, the other one. Um, you might be asking, para san tong maliit na bowl na to? And that will actually serve its purpose now. That's where I put the waste. Para madaling itapon mamaya. So, quick tip. Para mas malinis yung workspace nyo. Especially if you don't have a big workspace to work on. So, there. Oh, gosh. Okay. Well, medyo nasira ako yung onion. But that's fine. Alright, sure. Okay. And then, chop it up. Again, be careful with this one. I'll, I'll chop this big part because it doesn't look good. that we need to chop or we need to slice are sliced the mushroom you don't need to because the, the canned I got one is already sliced so and tinanggal lang ko na siya ng juice because you don't need that in your cooking 
All right. Um, and then we are now going to go uh, dun sa countertop to cook. So let's get started with our cooking. All right, so we are ready to cook. My cast iron pan is ready. So what we do is we put it in high heat first. Okay, so no much high heat, just a little bit of low heat over there. Um, this is a cast iron pan, Samsonite, so make sure na meron kayong pot holder of sorts. Pot holder of sorts. Uh, or towel that's thick enough to fight the heat. Alright, now while that is heating, make sure you in it. Hintay lang kayo na a few minutes. Okay, put some oil. Sure, marami na oil yan. Yeah, but that's the season of the pan. Alright, so just some oil. Alright, that's a lot of oil. Okay, and then just uh, spread that oil around. Uh, there you go. Okay, I'm taking some more. One minute for it to heat up. Uh, and while waiting that, prepare your ingredients already. I actually forgot one of the ingredients, which is uh, all-purpose cream. Now, if you know how to make your own cream, um, go ahead. No? In, in some of the carbonara videos I know, they know how to make their own cream through egg. But all-purpose cream will do. I'm not endorsing Nestle. It's just so happen the ones available. All right. So there you go. Okay, so I think that's hot enough. I can feel it. So how do you know if it's hot enough? I, I, you know if it's hot enough. You're an adult, okay? Or at least you're old enough to watch this video. Okay, so put in the onions. All right, you should hear sizzling sound. Pag walang sizzling sound, ibig sabihin your pan is not hot enough. In fact, there's a better sizzling sound. Uh, ano talo? not the good okay that's that's better all right there you go sir bakit inuuna niyo po yung sibuyas at hindi yung bawang kasi pag yung bawang ang inuna mo papaklak agad siya i don't know that's that's what they tell so i'm just cooking it like this so wait for the aroma uh, pag medyo na nga na so just Stir fry this. Gisay nyo lang. Alright. Wooden spoon. Wouldn't want to use anything else. Okay. Out. Alright. So, yung tomato sick na yung oil sa akin. So, be careful with that one. Okay. So, there. Medyo may mga a char na yung itong onions and uh, garlic. Uh, it's time to put the butter. All right, so, all right, so there you go, there you go, love it, love it, there, all right, so, butter up, there, nice, all right. When the butter has melted, don't wait for it to really burn, kasi magiging brownish yung butter mo, and mapakla, so, put the beef now, all right, so put the beef, very important, all right, so. so there you go. Awesome. So you have to hear the the sizzle sound. Kasi pag di mo narinig yung sizzle sound, hindi sabihin hindi siya naluluto. And you need to know that it's cooking. Otherwise, you're not cooking. That's the point, right? You have to cook it. All right. And maybe you can season it a little bit more. There you go. Bam, bam, bam. More salt and pepper. There. Nice. And, like, you know, the kulay, right? Just a little browning of the beef. Kailang mag brown siya. If it's not brown, it's not yet cooked. Alright? Manipis na naman siya, so madali lang lang siya maluto. Okay, look at that. Awesome. Alright. Just a little browning, para di masyadong matigas mama yan. Alright, so yan. And then, put some oyster sauce. Huwag masyadong marami, kasi ma-overpower niya yung lata. Siguro just a few drips 
There you go, perfect. That should be enough. Okay, para lang makulayan niya at malasahan niya yung oyster sauce. And make sure that it's absorbing everything. Uh, right? And then, it's time that we put some mushroom in it. Alright, so put the mushroom. There you go. Perfect. You can even season the mushroom if you want. But you don't need to. You don't need to. Alright. While bracing, so yung parang little, little na pagkulo, you can put your all-purpose cream. Yeah. There you go. Put some all-purpose cream into that baby. Alright, there you go. Okay, very nice. And then, you just mix them together. Alright, make sure that the cream is, well, is everywhere in this pan. Tapos, I guess you could put a little bit more all uh, oyster sauce, just for the taste. Okay. So just a little bit because we have oyster sauce. Maybe just... There we go. That should be enough. Okay. And then mix it together. There you go. And then ladies and gentlemen, just uh, wait for this. Maybe let it simmer. <laughs> ah, yes. Simmer. Let it simmer for five minutes or until na amoy yun na. Wag mo yung amoy sunog. Like, just uh, let it simmer for five minutes. Uh, just maybe to reduce that cream and the sauce, but not too much because you want that you want that cream with the food. Otherwise, sana di mo na ng cream. <laughs> so, uh, just wait for it for a while. Maybe let it reduce. So, around five minutes, and that should be ready. In the meantime, let us prepare it. Uh, well, let's let's prepare the bowl where we're putting that. Okay. So there. So, ladies and gentlemen, my dear Samsonites, ultimately, eto na yon. This is now your beef stroganoff. Sorry, hindi ko na nalinis yung yung bowl when I poured it there because I'm very hungry already. Uh, you have rice here. Uh, that's my option. We have no kanin. And for lunch, so there you go. You can just pour it on top of the rice. Okay. Or maybe sa gilid if you want. Again, you would have put broccoli here. Um, another ingredient that you can put, optional, is paprika for a little bit of spice. But hindi kasi ako si manghang. So, hindi ko nilagyan. So, there you go. And, um, again. So, there. That is for our lunch. And I hope you enjoyed this uh, episode on how to make beef stroganoff. I think that's what it's called. Beef stroganoff. Uh, so, let me know in the comment section what else you want me to do uh, to, to try to cook. And maybe I'll try to learn it uh, the basic way para madali lang siyang lutuin. It's fairly easy to follow. Kitang-kita niya naman. Napakadali lang yung lutuin. Until next time, thank you for watching. Bye!